Hey everybody, I'm Griffin here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. The me being a dumbassening or something like that, I don't even know. Because, you know, we're playing this through again. Now, we just, of course, finished the shenanigans that are... The maze... Let's not use the shotgun. Hey, buddy. Welcome. He can spin on a dime. Got a selection of Good, what are you selling? We're probably about there. Excuse me. Oh yeah, we can sell this because I missed... Thank you. Is that all, stranger? Is that all? Thank you. I have two yellow herbs on my person. That's dumb. Thank you. All right. Um. Is that all? Look, we all know I don't use incendiary grenades. Come back at any time. Alright. Let's get on with it, shall we? This is one of those times where I might end up getting myself killed. Shakalaka. Alright, so the shotgun's gonna be a thing. Uh, did we miss anything? Nope. Because we get trapped here. Dang it. So the fun part is... Wow, really? One shot got him? I'll be honest, I didn't think that was going to be the case. That sounds like a Rick Shang bullet. Music's having a really fun time here. Mostly because I presume it's supposed to take longer. The music starts again. Yeah. 
I'm lazy, let's be honest here. I'm actually pretty confident that I still have to kill these things. And I was correct. Magnum ammo is always good. Because magnums are awesome. I'm fairly confident there's a snake in one of these. Ooh, yeah. I find the discrepancy between what is and isn't, like, giant gold bars, to be rather odd. Pretty sure I've mentioned that in the past. It is just, just a little one of those little silly things. Ah, I was correct. We did sell a bunch of grenades, so there should be a bunch of room here. all three pieces do I sorry I need to actually hit pause and go to my key treasures yeah no I've only got one piece I'm confused I've officially gotten myself lost here there we go that's where we need to go I mean, we still needed to come this way I suppose but We might just sell the rocket launcher. And if you guys remember from the Ada storyline, She'll be behind us pretty shortly here while we're fighting in the other room. Okay, I'm not using the correct weapon here. Damn acid. Okay, I'm actually running really close to dead here. I really like that they take that moment to pause. Okay, can I make the shot?
The answer is yes, I can make that shot in time. We'll deal with that in a second. fit a rocket launcher into this inventory my most basic instinct is no since we'd probably be putting it next to the shotgun that'd be the fastest place to fit it I think the simple answer is just no. I'm just putting all the healing in one place. We have a frack ton of healing. Not enough there. Okay, so let's double check the size of this thing. If I get rid of three incendiary grenades, it works. Rifle ammo is more valuable than incendiary grenades. <laughs> Look, I never said we were doing smart things. Let's hope that there's a guy that I can that I can sell this to soon. Yes, there is. Wait. Yes, there is. Cool. Got a selection of what are you selling? How much does this even sell for? Only fifteen thousand. You're not incentivizing me to not do it. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. The infrared scope is 10,000. All right, it's so far to sell the TMP right now. It's up. It's 86, which puts us at 892, which means I'd have to sell 100,000 worth of stuff after that. Uh, let's sell this last incendiary grenade. <laughs> Thank you. We're close. The answer is we're close. What are you I'm just going to sell the rocket launcher. <laughs> it's it just takes up so much space it's not worth it i think we're off to the boss fight soon oh that's right this is where luis gets the shit murdered out of him we won't watch that it's not really necessary 
We just we just remember that he gets absolutely wrecked. I am a bad shot. I'm pretty sure this entire thing is trivial. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to pick a path to stuff I saw there, I can launch her. Seems like there was something in the ground over there for a second. I hear you, Ashley. And suddenly you're not wearing armor anymore. Yay, pre-rendered cutscenes. Near death experience. Yeah, she like is not in any danger here, so still have to kill them, but no, to die is not to live. Really it. The door's locked, I can't open it. Oh look, a key. Look, man, I don't even understand how that worked. I got the key. I can get out. Please do. And now we get to play as Ashley. One of the few times we get to play as Ashley. Which means we get to live with this horrendous sound basically all the time. Pick a direction, goddammit. Oh, that's right, I can throw this crap at him. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm surprised that hit him. I actually think it's basically has to, because it takes three to kill him, and there's three in the room. To do this in full plate armor is quite a task, by the way. I don't think there's any other money or anything in here. I'm pretty sure there's a way that you can do this 100% stealthy.
Yeah, that missed him, which means I'm kind of screwed here. See, I don't actually remember how this works, if I can't. Because I can't kill him now. Because I'm pretty sure he can't do anything to me here. Which is just funny. Because otherwise I think you have to run away. There's some- oh, the other way is I think the way that I have to eventually go. gosh. There's a way to solve all of these very quickly. I just do not remember all of them off the top of my head. I forgot we needed that. Oh, wait. I'll realize the answer to this in the question. I think something else closed when that opened. Or not. Oh, there it is. There's one switch that I am missing. At least presumably there's a switch that I am missing. And it's back here. That's okay. We don't need that one open. I didn't even realize that was there. Begin creepy music. Oh, that's right. Look for the one that's trying to attack you. That's a quick time event. All right, I used to be like really good at these puzzles. Not quite so much anymore, but There's really no good way to describe how this works, like how to solve those puzzles if you don't know how to solve them. It basically just has to do with uh, running the pieces in circles and changing which circles are where, or where pieces are in the midst of that circle.
This is like the one of the few places that actually I think survival horror kind of applies. Because we are basically defenseless here. So basically we had to take that or it wouldn't let us out of the room. And also now we have to run. I don't actually remember how much damage those deal. Okay, we got a quick time event coming up here. And another one here. It's either L and R or X and A, so it's always the same. I do not remember how far those... Yep, there's another one. I was curious to let myself get hit there just to see what would happen. But at the same time, I did not want to bother. Okay, I did get the treasure there. Just in case Leon wants some more bullets. Oh yeah, then we've already read all these things, so. Wait a sec, there's a round hole. Whoever built this castle is insane. I feel like that's the biggest takeaway that I've gotten from this is like, whoever built this, like they're the person you need to talk to. Because apparently they're really good at building secret passageways in this castle. Because honestly, I don't think this castle makes sense. If you were to try and physically lay it out, I just don't think it would work. What he was doing during this time, I have no fucking clue. Sorry if I was. Oh, don't worry about it. Come on, let's move on. That was the end of the chapter. Huzzah! So here's the hard part. Do I call this up ep the episode here? And I think the answer is yes, because I'm trying to keep episodes a little bit on the shorter side nowadays. Uh, just because uh, the amount of time it takes me to do things has gotten longer and I can't spend an hour on every episode every single day. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I believe that next episode we will finally be able to purchase, finally, hopefully, be able to purchase our Chicago typewriter and then just go a little crazy with it. I don't think we'll play it through a second time, but I could be wrong, or a third time, but I could be wrong. We'll see. I love the Chicago typewriter. It's hilarious. Anyway. I'll see you next time, but until then, keep your gears turning.